Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeremy coming back at you with a little Black Ops 2. And uh, we're playing a little Nooktown Zombies. Uh, I've gotten up to round 11, started at round 1. And I uh, thought I'd start recording at 11 so you wouldn't have to see, you know, the first 10 rounds and make the video even longer than it is and, you know, 20 different parts. So here I am pretty much starting at round 12. Um... This is around 20 gameplay. Um, I've got uh, my little area is, uh, well, my little train is to start right here. When the guys start popping up, shoot who you can. And then just train around clockwise. Is that clockwise? No, counterclockwise around this thing. Uh, throw grenades down to get a couple crawlers. I've got two pretty good guns right now. Um, I can't remember the exact name of them. Um, but right here, if you make this little circle right here, uh, it's a pretty good strategy. You have to know the zombies' movements. You have to know how to sidestep and, you know, pretty much... You have to be on your toes because they will get you. You have to weave left and right, run, know when to slow down so they'll all catch up with each other so they won't spawn in front of you. Like right here is a very, very dangerous area because you can't fit two people between it. It's either you or the zombie or, you know, you're going to go down. Um, I've got Quick Revive, Speed Cola, and um, I don't think I have Jug. Well, I've got Double Tap, Quick Revive, and Speed Cola right now. I don't have Jug yet. Um, I don't think it's dropped yet at this point. I'm doing a voiceover for this because I wasn't, uh, I was, I was recording, but I wasn't recording voice, I was just recording gameplay. Um, I don't think speed, yeah, I'm waiting on Jug right now, and I think this might be it. No, it's not here. There I am, I'm looking for it. Jug usually comes up on the other house, at the other house. Uh, a lot of people like to train in the backyards. Uh, it's too cramped for me. I just can't. I usually get caught up and end up going down when I try to train in the backyard. Or the one time that I tried it, I did. I like this more area out in the middle, which, I mean, isn't even open. Okay, there's Jug right there. It just dropped. So I'm going to get Jug. So now I've got Quick Revive, uh, Double Tap, Times 2, Speed Cola, and Jug. So I'm sitting pretty as hell. So right here, I leave this uh, gun in the box because I'm looking for monkeys. Uh, okay, I've got the MTAR and the HAMR, which are two beast guns. I got super lucky. Right here, I'm waiting for, I'm trying to get monkeys out of the deal for a ray gun. End up getting monkeys. It's a great thing. Um, then I go in the round, start back on another one. And, uh, I end up getting up to round 20. Um, so I think this is a pretty good strategy. Uh, you know, if you're just starting out and you're not, you know, very good with zombie movement or movement of your own, uh, you know, this is probably a good strategy for you because the back the uh, backyard is doable. It's just a little cramped, and you have to really, really know the zombie movement and be good at your movement in order to get to far rounds. Um, I was hoping to push this to 25 or 30. I end up getting caught up. You'll see in the second video of me getting caught up, which is, you know, it's just, it, it was, I wasn't really mad because I got the 20. I was okay with it. It's the farthest I've gotten on this map. Um, I was very, very happy with my movement. Getting, I uh, got lucky with guns. I've uh, got all the perks you can get. See, right there is tight. You will go down right there. It is, uh not a good situation that's the only shaky part right in right here the two edges are very shaky right here you can go left or right and you'll be okay but uh the two ends if they spawn in front of you they're gonna try to block you and uh so uh, this is a good strategy right here you just train them up turn around shoot keep running train them up turn around shoot throw a grenade down try to get a crawler so you can uh, hit the box or you know, uh, yeah, you know, get your, um, uh, your, uh, perks, 
Um, unfortunately, you know, quick revive, you lose all your perks, which kind of sucks, because I don't think they have tombs tombstone on this map. Uh, it, maybe it drops, I don't know. Maybe after 20 it drops, but uh, see right here, I almost go down. Luckily, Jug saved my butt. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if tombstone or, tomb tombstone or stamina drops, let me know, because, uh, you know, I, I don't know if the drops or not. I've never seen it on this map. Um, you know, this is probably my fourth or fifth playthrough on this map, I think. Um, let's quick revive drops first. But yeah, if you have these two guns, the MTAR and the whatever else it was, they're really good guns. This gun right here, the MTAR, kind of sucks because... Uh, it's, you know, it's low on ammo, but, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I get really lucky in the box and get some awesome, uh, machine guns and, uh, heavy machine guns. Right here I get, uh, claymores, I believe. Um, you have to jump up here to get them because it doesn't register. But, uh, yeah, I grab claymores right here. Um, I do the, I do get the electrical knuckles. Um, but I end up getting them a little too late because you have to hit the zombie twice to kill them. Um, I think I hit the box again trying to get ray gun. Yeah, I'm trying to get ray gun right here to move forward. End up getting a heavy machine gun. <clears throat> so I trade that out. This thing's a beast on here. So I'm rocking with the MTAR and the heavy machine gun. Looking for Ray Gun, the box goes away on me. But, um, yeah. And, uh, I end up packing a pack of punching two guns. Uh, I wanted to wait to pack a punch until my bullet started, you know, being a lot weaker. Uh, I wanted to save my points and pack a punch two guns at once, so I'm trying to get over 10,000 here. And, uh, but you'll see what happens. Um, it's a pretty good playthrough. Uh, I'm going to hit it again today to try to get past 20. And, uh, you know, no, I didn't, I didn't start at 5 or 10. I started at 1. Um, I've never, I've never started at, you know, 5, 10, or 20 or whatever. Um, it's a crap shotgun I get just trying to pull stuff out of the box to get ray gun. But, uh, yeah, I've never had a zombie match where I started at a certain number. I don't think anybody does that. Um, this gun, I love this this other gun that I have, the Type 25. It's awesome. Uh, it doesn't hold much ammo. I mean, it's a 30-round clip, but the Type 25, if you pick, if you get that in this uh, gameplay, or this uh, zombies, be sure to pick, you know, it's a nice gun to have. It's really, really good. I think a little later I end up, you know, hitting the box trying to get ray gun because that's, you know, all, you always want ray gun when you're playing zombies. See, this thing mows them down pretty good. And uh, it's round 14, you know, and this Type 25 is pretty, pretty powerful. So um, this is an epic gun to get. If you pull it out of the box, try to keep it, uh, unless you get the MTAR, but it just doesn't have enough ammo. So... Yeah, this is the uh, strategy right here. And uh, just be careful right there like that. They always try to block you right there. Right here, you're just ducking and diving. I'm having to go through the middle. Uh, and if you, you know, be sure, you know, keep trying to hit the box. You know, point whore, hit the box. You know, make sure, you try to get monkeys. Because if you ever get in trouble, um, you can just throw a monkey. And then you can, you know, when they pile around, you just shoot them all. And um, right there, I'm throwing grenades to try to get crawlers. But yeah, if you throw a monkey and they all pile around it, blast into that circle, you'll get a ton of points. Uh, you can pack a bunch of your stuff. And uh, yeah, you'll be set. But uh, if any of y'all try this strategy, you know, send me a video link. Or, you know, if you have a better strategy, you know, send me uh, how you did it. I know the two backyards are popular uh, places to train. But uh, I like to be, I like it to be a little more open than that. Um, it's just too tight. Uh, I wish this truck wasn't here. 
or you know I wish it was two people could fit through there uh, it's a little too tight I just I don't know why and I got I got a bunch of max ammo drops in a row at the end here and well not at the end but at the end of this round you know I kept getting the max ammos yeah if any of them yeah I try to kill some of those crawlers so they won't get me but uh, if you try to, if you get blocked coming around this corner or anywhere, be sure to shoot the zombie first. Uh, the one ahead of you. Don't try to, you know, you know, don't try to run around them. Just shoot them straight up. Put a whole clip into them if you have to. But yeah, there's tons of crawlers right there, so I try to narrow those down to get the insta kill. Right here, I'm trying to get to the next round so I can pull that insta kill out of the hat. And, uh, I hope this helped you. Um, but, uh, I'm not going to talk through the whole thing, so I'm just going to let it play on. And, uh, I hope you enjoy this video. It's a pretty good gameplay. You know, 20 rounds, it's okay. But people are getting to 40 in rounds and all that stuff. But, I mean, I'm happy with 20 at this point. Um, I'm going to try to push it to 30 today. Um, this will be a two-parter because it's a pretty long video. Uh, this LSAT is beast, too. Especially when you pack a punch it. It's, I mean, this this thing will mow them down. Just be sure to be careful because you can't run as fast with it, so you might have to switch back and forth between guns. But uh, the LSAT is beast. Got tons of ammo. You know, it tells you how much ammo is left on the thing. Uh, when you pack a punch it, you get the little, you know, the big screen that you know, tells you where the zombies are, but it doesn't really help. You might want to pack a punch this gun twice. I almost get blocked right there. But anyway, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video, and uh, if this helped you out, like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate any support, and uh, I'll see you on part two. Um, so there it is. Thank you very much. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh. <laughs>